our will, bless the Lord, at all times. Yes. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. Yes. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Yes. Yes. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Yes. I sought the Lord. And he heard me yes. and delivered me from all my fears. Yes, let's be the word of the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you, oh God, for just another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord just one more time, oh God. We thank you for allowing us to wake up on today, oh God. We thank you for bringing us over dangerous highways and byways, oh God. We thank you for watching over us last night as we slept and slumbered, oh God. And now, God, because we're in your house, God, we're going to begin to give you the praise. We say, God, let your Holy Spirit reign in this place, God. Make this service everything that you desire for it to be, oh God. God, we believe that strongholds will be broken on today. God, we believe that chains will be broken on today, God, that the worship that we put forth on today, God, will change our experiences, will change our circumstances, that somebody will be changed by what's going to happen on today. So, God, we say, God, do what you want to do in this service, God. We loose your Holy Spirit in this place and say, God, have your way in this place, oh God. Have your way in everything that we say and that we do. Have your way in everything that we think, oh God, and make this service everything that you desire, and we begin to praise you now, God. We begin to clap our hands in anticipation. And we give you the victory, oh God, because you and you alone are worthy of the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. And come on and praise God like you love him on today. Come on, I said praise God like you love him on today. Come on, as we go into our praise and worship, we invite you to come down and meet us here and bring your worship right up here with us. Is there any here, anybody here that's desiring something from God on today? Come on, is there anybody that's in need of something? We ask you to just come down here. Forget about your problems. Forget about your issues. We invite you to come right to the front and just get in touch with God. Because this is why we come here, to get everything that God desires for us. So come on, come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on, if you're desiring something for God, come on and meet me down here. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, sir. That's it. Come on, just lift your hands now. Come on, lift your hands in a moment of worship. It's okay. Just lift your hands. So when you're lifting your hands, you're simply saying to God, I surrender. I surrender to your will. I surrender to your way. Come on, just lift your hands. It's okay. You can lift your hands. Come on, you can lift your hands in this place. In a sign of solidarity, and say, God, we're here worshiping you together. God, if I don't make it, they don't make it. And God, if they don't make it, I don't make it. But we're here worshiping you together. You can begin to open up your mouth and tell God everything that it means to you. You can begin to tell God, thank you. Come on, this is a house where you're free to worship. This is a house where you're free to open up your mouth. This is a house where you're free to worship. This is a house where you're free to tell God everything that he means to you. If you don't know what to say, you can simply say, God, I love you. If you don't know what to say, you can simply say, God, I thank you. If you don't know what to say, you can say, God, you are everything to me. And without you, I will not be. Come on and worship you. Come on and worship you. Come on and worship you. Now is the time to worship you. Provide the fire, and I'll provide the fire. Yes, God. You provide the spirit, and I will open up inside. Feel me, God. Feel me. Spirit, and I will open up inside. 
Feel me, oh God. Feel me, oh God. Feel me, oh God. Feel me, oh help me say. Feel me, oh God.
Touch from the Lord. Come on, really worship him like you need something from him now. Anybody need God to fill in my prayer, God? Fill in the empty space. Hey, fill in the broken room. Hey, God. Fill us up, man. Fill us up. Fill our minds with you. Fill our hearts with more of you. Hey, God. We want more. Fill me up. Until I overflow, I want all of you. I want all of you. Feel me up. Feel me up. Feel me up. Feel me up. Come and give God some praise right there. So tell me, what can I do? I can't live without you. I can't live without you. So tell me, what can I do? Cause I can't live without you. I can't live without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can't live without you. I can't live without you. So tell me, what can I do? Cause I can't live without you. I can't live without you. So here's my heart. Here's my mind. I give you my soul, Lord. Please take control because I've tried on my own. And what I found is I can't make it on my own. On my own. Yeah. <laughs> 
so tell me, tell me what can I do? Cause I can't, I can't live without me. Oh, say oh, like you say oh, say oh. Oh, oh, oh. Say, just say, oh, 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 Celebrate him like you can't live without him. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate him like you can't live without him. Come on, we just want to speak into your room and just say you're getting ready to walk into the overflow. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're getting ready to walk into the overflow. Come on, turn to the other side and say, neighbor. You getting ready to walk into the overflow? How many people want to walk into the overflow? 
I said, how many people want to walk into the overflow? That means we serve a God of the overflow. So because we serve a God of the overflow, you can walk into the overflow. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, put your hands together with us. We're just going to sing a little bit of this for you. It's all right to put your hands together. Come on. Come on. You said we can give God praise. Let me hear you say,
want you to hug five people and just tell them the Lord's going to turn it around. Come on, hug five people. Come on, make sure you're not sitting next to a hater. If they haven't hugged you, get you another seat. Hug five people. Say, neighbor, you're blessed today. You're blessed today because you're sitting next to me. Come on, give God a hand of praise in here. Well, you're looking beautiful. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. You want to welcome our guest today? Good morning, everyone. I just want to um, welcome all. Let me start over. I just want to welcome you all, and it is truly a blessing to have you all here with us today, and uh, we're going to praise and worship the Lord today together, and um, I'm just glad you all came out. We're ready to get it cracking, right? Yeah. Amen. Listen, I have some special guests here today, I know we all do, uh, but I want to recognize my mom is in the building. Yeah. Raise your hand, my dear. Shut up, Shut up, folks. Some of these folks don't know you. That's my dear right there. That's my mother. Amen. She, she drove up today to be with us and my niece, and they're here today. Amen. And, and we're so blessed to have all of you. Um, I, I invited. I'm, I'm blessed to be uh, associated and um, in the company of, of great men and, and women um, of God and, 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 and I want to preference that because um, you know not everyone is in, in the will of God and uh, not everyone is, is, is under God's care and, and so when you are blessed to be in the company of those who are who really know God and um, are, are, are serving, uh, you're really blessed. You're really blessed. So um, I'm blessed today to have my good friend and brother, um, Mr. Mike Brown. He is, for those of you who may not know him, he is the Lake County clerk. Amen. So let's give him a great big hand. Amen. Amen. And I'm, I'm going to have him come. I, I want him to greet you all. He's going to introduce um, another very special person that we have here today. And we have one of our school board members that are in the building. Would you stand, sir? Amen. He's one of our school board members. Come on, let's give him a hand. We thank God for him being here today. Also, Mike, would you come and greet the people? Amen. And introduce our brother also. Amen. Good morning, my sisters and brothers. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to God who's ahead of my life, to this great pastor and brother, to the first lady. You are truly blessed to have this angel in this house. I say that because I am blessed to have a man who God has touched to minister to all of us, including myself. God has blessed me to be in a position of leadership, but he's also blessed me to have a spiritual leader around me. And that's far more important. I won't hold the service up. I just want to introduce another great brother who's doing great things in county government, Mr. Jerome Prince, our Lake County Councilman. 
and, and his lovely wife. Please stand as well. He is a candidate for Lake County Assessor. He has done great work, and he is going to make great history like myself. And I just want to thank Pastor for giving us an opportunity to speak. Thank you, and God bless you. You know we love you. All right, so uh, we ready. We're ready to move higher. That that was not the choir, Mark. I got a bad choir. Amen. They they are, they're about the same right now. Amen. And uh, we we have a band. Y'all give our band a hand. Amen. This this is our this is their first Sunday with us. Um, that's the daddy on the drums. He holding the bass. He holding it down. Amen. And and these are his sons. Amen. And uh, yeah, yeah. And so. And so they are they are part of our music ministry now. Amen, somebody. So so if y'all see them cats acting up, we got the license to whoop them, right, bro? All right, John, all right. <laughs> so we're glad to have them with us. And hey, come on, we're ready. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my announcements, didn't I? Oh, uh, doggone it. I'll bring them later, okay? Come on, give our choir a hand. Yeah. 
people believe in prayer, first of all? Have you, have you really tried prayer? It's prayer time. If you have a concern, an issue, a problem, the Lord says, cast your cares on me because I care for you. I want you to bring it down to the altar. If you're going through anything, if you're experiencing some financial issues, you need some money, you feel you're experiencing some sickness in your body, he says, bring it to me. Come on down. And heal. He's able to heal. Well, maybe everything is good with you. Maybe you know somebody that needs prayer. And they can't be here, but I want you to come and stand for them today. Come on, some family member you may know that needs prayer. They're not here, but you come and stand for them today. And then the rest of us that are not coming, I want to ask you to stand to your feet where you are if you're able to physically stand. I want you to stand on your feet to be in agreement with us that prayer works. Prayer works. I am a, y'all come on in. Come on, y'all come close. I showered this morning. Come on. Y'all come on. Yeah, y'all come on up. Come on up here. Come on. I want everybody to get in. I am, I am a pastor that believes the word of God is true. It's real. I believe it from the front page to the rear. The credits, the forwards, I believe it all. And one of the passages in the Bible, it says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. In other words, you can literally speak your future or your funeral into existence just by what you say. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So I like for us to talk. I like for us to, to speak what we want because that's what God wants. So when I, when I count the three, there is something that you're believing God for. Watch this, listen. Something that you believe in God for and when you get it, nobody will ever believe it. You said Minister, man, minister. Something you believe that God's going to do for you, he can do for you. Something that he wants, that you want him to do for you. Yeah. That when God does it for you, people around you will look in amazement like, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it? Yeah. I want you to get it in your mind. It's time to speak it into existence right now. I don't hear nobody. Yes, sir. It's time to speak it into existence right now. We're about to give it legs to walk. We're about to give it hands to work for you. Are y'all ready for it? I don't hear y'all. Are y'all ready for it? When I count to three, I want you to say it. I want you to speak it out as loud as you can. This is the prayer, what you about to say. I told you all on last week to speak your name. Y'all remember that? I said, say your name. And your name goes out into the spirit realm. And it lands in somebody's spirit. 
so that they can bless you. Yeah, yeah. This baby right here called me. She said, Pastor, she said, Pastor, I did what you said last Sunday and spoke my name. She said, when I got to work Monday morning, I ain't got nobody in here. So they called me in. I got a better job with better money. Stay as long as I can. Thank you, Mother. Love you so much. Love you so much. Are the praise dancers ready? Yeah. They're ready. Come on. Tell them, come on. Tell them, come on. We're, we're moving. We're moving quickly. We're moving quickly. It's so good to see everybody. All y'all young brothers, man. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Don't listen. Y'all young brothers, stand up. All y'all young brothers on that third row, y'all stand. All of y'all guys, stand up. Amen. Turn around and wave at the folk. I want them to see how handsome you guys are. Amen. 
let me let me say something to you all before you sit down. Let me say something to you. God, God's plan for your life, God's plan for your life is still in effect. You hear me? God's plan is still in effect. It is not canceled. You hear me? It's not canceled. It's not canceled. That what God, what God, y'all come on in. I'm just, come on. The music got to start back there. Okay. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't going to dance yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get y'all. Y'all, can y'all dance? Yeah. You can? Who said? They do the nine, 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 nine. Nay, nay. Nay, nay, whatever. New, new, whatever. <laughs> Listen, man. Come on, y'all, come on. I'm trying to move quick. God has a plan for your life. Know that. Know that. I love you all. I love every one of you. I love every one of you. Mike, don't we love them? We love Come on, let's give these brothers a hand, man. Come on. Yeah, man. We're so blessed that you all are here. All right, y'all can sit down. Y'all can sit down. All right, let's go. No limits. No boundaries, a singing truth all around, singing no limits, no boundaries, a singing truth all around, stretch for
you stand for the word of God. Amen. One of the announcements that I wanted to make, uh, I want you all to visit our bookstore. Uh, Amen. As soon as you got the double doors to your right, all of our books are uh, for $7 now. Uh, we're trying to um, get a new inventory in there, so we need to sell what we have. Uh, we have we have books by T.D. Jakes, Joyce Myers, uh, Fred Price. I mean, the list goes on. Um, so take a stop in there on your way out. Um, and see what you would you would like, Amen. Take the hand of a person that are, that is next to you. The hand that you're holding is a hand that is valuable to God. It's a hand that has experienced times of lack, struggle, dependency. But then it's also a hand that has experienced the love of God in giving. The hand that you're holding now had to wipe some tears from their eyes. The hands that you're holding had to embrace loved ones during times of death in the family. Squeeze that hand. The hand that you now feel is saying to you, after all you've been through, after everything that you've experienced in your life, God has brought you through it. I said he's brought you through it. And the reason I know he's brought you through it, squeeze that hand again, because you can feel. I ain't got nobody in here. Does anybody know what it's like to come through something? And as much as you try to pray and ask God to deliver you out of it, he lets you stay right there. Do I got anybody in here? It didn't feel good while you were in it either. You had to cry while you were in it. Do I got some real people in here besides me? You had to stay awake at night while you were in it. Lost some family and friends while you were in it. But God brought you out. I wish you can get excited for being brought out of something. Yeah. He brought you out. Squeeze that hand one more time. And say, I was pressing to your hands. Life. And in the name of Jesus, live. Press their hand and say, live. Now give him a hand of praise. Yeah. Very, very quickly, I want to go to Genesis chapter 22, and I'm not going to be long today. Genesis chapter 22, uh, for those of you who have your Bible, if you don't, we have it on the screen here. Amen. Genesis chapter 22, uh, I'm reading from the King James Version today. A couple of verses, uh, I hope they won't get too laborious for you, but I'm going to read as quick as I can. Genesis chapter 22, that's the first book of the Bible. 
You should be able to find that one right after the table of contents. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are you there? Amen. You'll find these words recorded. And it came to pass that after these things, that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I. Verse 2, And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Verse 3, And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and and Isaac, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went into the place which God had told him. Verse 4. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and, and I and the lad will go yonder to worship, and come again to you. Verse 6. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and Laid it, laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. Verse 7, and Isaac spake unto Abraham and, he, and his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son, and he said, Behold, the fire and wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Verse 8, and Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together, verse 9, and they came to the place which God had told them of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood, verse 10, and Abraham stepped, stretched forth his hands, and took the knife to slay his son, verse 11, and, and the angel of the Lord called unto, out to him from the heavens, and said, Abraham, Abraham, and and he said, Here am I. Verse 12. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. Verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for the burnt offering instead of his son. Verse 14, last verse. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, and it is said to this day, in the mount the Lord it shall be seen. Turn and look at your neighbor, smile at him, and say, neighbor, neighbor, the mountain of sacrifice. Wrong neighbor. Look at the other neighbor. Say, neighbor, welcome to the mountain of sacrifice sacrifice. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The mountain of sacrifice. My brothers and sisters, can I say to us very early on in the message that one of the toughest things for us to do as a people is to give up something that we love. Um, those of you who are sitting here, if you are honest with yourself, there is something, there's always been something in your life that you know that is not really good for you, but is good to you. I ain't got no help in here. We, we all have experienced things or people in our lives who at some point or another they began, they may have started out as a benefit but they turned out being a burden and, and in those times you, you have got to a place in your life that you really wanted to give them up but they have been around so long it was hard to do it. Do I got some help in here? When I look at us, just me, I, I could just tell you my own story. The, the last two and a half years I've shared it six 68 pounds because I had to give up some stuff I love. I ain't got no help in here. Um, that chocolate cake was calling my name, but I couldn't answer back. I ain't got nobody. Um, that banana pudding and, 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 the, and the hot cherry fruit pie and all that stuff. I've had to give up things that I love, but I knew it was not a part of the destiny that God was trying to fulfill for me. I ain't got no help in here. I'm not the only one that had the trouble to have problems turning down chocolate cake. No, I'm not the only one that has trouble with going past 
past all of the pops and the chips at the workplace. Ain't nobody going to say nothing. I'm not the only one that like um, German chocolate cakes and all that good stuff. I'm not the only one that loves to indulge in, in lobster and seafood. Do I got some help in here? The fact of the matter here, brothers and sisters, there is something in all of our lives uh, that we know we need to give over, that we need to sacrifice, but it's hard to do. Do I got somebody in here? Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's really on my street today. He's on my street. He's on my street. There, there are some things in our lives, my dears, that we have to come to a place to where we understand, listen, it's been good for a while, but now your season is up. Yes. You know, I, I enjoyed you while you were there. You were a benefit to me. I was a benefit for you. But now our season is time to end. Do I got somebody? And see, I need to tell you, my dear, early on again uh, that there is a place and there is a time that God is going to ordain for you uh, to where you're going to have to give up something you love. Would you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to give up something you love. Because what I, what I found out is that so oftentimes the things that we hold on to the most are the things that we really need to let go of. Yes, we've been holding on to something and God has been trying to tell you, listen, I'm trying to pull this thing away from you because it has outlived its usefulness. And where I'm trying to take you, the thing that you're trying to hold on to is not part of the plan. And so what happens so often, brothers and sisters, is that we'll hold on to something that God has not intended to cross over our Jordan into our Canaan and it will cause havoc to where we're going. And you will look back on it and say, why did I bring you here? Do I got somebody in this house? Have you ever had a friend that you knew lost time with up? You had deleted them on Facebook. You had stopped following them on Twitter and Instagram. But it was something about them because every time you turned around, they always showed up. And they helped you a couple of times. They were a blessing to you. And, and you felt this sense of obligation, so you brought them with you to a place that you really knew that they were never supposed to go. Do I got some help in here? I mean, listen, y'all gotta stop trying to be cute in here, because listen, I'm a real preacher, and see, you gotta understand, if God is gonna ever help you, you got to admit to where you are. I ain't got nobody. So can I ask you one more time, and maybe it's you, but can I ask somebody in the building, have you ever got to a place to where you got to where God was, also, you felt where God was ultimately taking you and you looked around and saw who was with you and wondered why you brought him with you. Do I got some help in here? Here, here, here you are. Here you are over on this side of the river. They were really the source of your problem. They were really the people that caused you to stay up all night long. They, they were really the people that called, got your knees all ashy and messed up because you was always praying for them and trying to bring you through. I mean, they were supposed to be the one that was to uplift you and to bless you, but they ended up being the one that was holding you back. I ain't got nobody in here. And just when God broke the chain and you move over to the other side and you begin to see things begin to get better and begin to get well and you started doing all right and the minute they showed up, I ain't got nobody in here. I mean, the minute they showed up, it seemed and then things began to go haywire all over again. Do I got some real people in the building and they things begin to get crazy again and you found yourself right back in the water in the middle of where you left from and where you was going. I just said something. I said you allowed them to pull you from your pain to your promise to where God was blessing you. God was doing things for you. You allowed them to pull you in the middle, in the water, yes, to where you had been and where God was taking you. And you found out that where you are was all soaking wet. 
I said it was all soaking wet. It was weighing you down. It wasn't good for you. I ain't got nobody in here. You couldn't move to the left. You couldn't move to the right. You were stuck in the water. And you look at somebody and say, you got to sacrifice. You got to you gotta sacrifice. You got to get to a place, my brother and sister, be in your life to where you understand that you've got to cut the cord sometime. Yes. You got to let them go even though you got a cry about it. You got to let them go. Oh, yeah, you may see a way of work a little longer, but listen, you still got to let them go. I ain't got no weapon here. Oh, uh, I know you may not have the money that you had when you were with them because they were your sugar daddy and sugar mama. Ain't nobody going to keep it real. And so you don't want it, but just look at your neighbor and say, don't worry about it because God shall supply. I ain't got no weapon here. Yeah, if you lose one thing, God will give you something better. Can you look at somebody and say, God will supply. He'll, he'll supply, he'll, he'll supply your needs, he'll supply, he'll supply your needs. I didn't get on somebody's street today who know that God is the God who will supply your needs. Is there anybody in here ever been without something? I ain't got no hope in this house. You ain't ate up all the beans and weeds, yes. Come on, real cheese wasn't working no more. I mean, you didn't have nothing but you trusted in the Lord. Boy, I got some hope in here. Is there anybody in here that know how to Trust in the Lord. Can I ask you a question? Did he show up? Let me move. So here in this story, I'm going to y'all sit down. Put your hands and say, please, by a real man, please, please. I'm doing the best I can here in this scripture, in this narrative today. This is, this is about Abraham and Isaac. Abraham, Abraham was the promised one. He was the one that had a covenant with God. And God said, listen, if you make your people my people, I'll be your God. Yeah. And so Abraham said, I love the deal, God. I want to do it. So Abraham got hooked up with him in Genesis chapter 22. But if you go back to Genesis chapter 21, that's the episode where Abraham and Sarah was trying to have a baby and they laughed at God, yes. And God blessed them and he had Isaac, amen. Abraham was 100 years old. Brother, wasn't no joke. I ain't got no weapon here. Oh, uh, yeah, he wasn't no joke. He was still on his job, amen. And so they had the son Isaac and then they allowed Hagar and Ishmael to get in the mix and all of that. That's another same for another day. But here in Genesis chapter 2, uh, my Bible over the heading says that Abraham is tested. Now, can I tell you, brothers and sisters, uh, there's always going to be a time in your life, young men, that God is going to test you. Uh, because you, you got to understand that every blessing, I want y'all to look at me, young brother, every blessing that God has for you comes along with the test. You cannot get anything free in this life. God, even when God wants to bless you, he's going to test you. He's going to see if you're worthy to obtain what he's trying to give you. So nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. Look at them and say, nothing comes easy. Nothing, nothing comes easy. You're going to be in the test. And Job shows us, in Job, he shows us how God tests. One of the ways that God tests his people because Job, God told Job the devil, have you considered or have you thought about trying my boys right here? He said, look, I'm going to take my heads of protection from around them, and I, devil, I'm going to let you run free in their life. You can do whatever you want to do. You can bring whoever you want to in their lives, and I want to see, I bet you, this is what the devil said. He said, I want you to see that they fail you. I want you to see that they turn their backs on you. So God, God said, well, go ahead, go on and try Job. So he tried Job, Job kept the ground. But can I tell you, I ain't like Job. I ain't got nobody in here. See, God, God took a hedge of protection from around me. Let me tell you real quick. If y'all looking for a perfect preacher, y'all need to leave, because that ain't me, baby. I ain't got no weapon here. I ain't no perfect preacher. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you I've been perfect all my life. I probably done everything you've done and been some. I ain't got nobody in here. I ain't never been no gay stuff. But other than that, I've done everything else. I ain't got no problem. So I ain't been Joe. I ain't been perfect. Every time God allowed the devil to get me and I bowed down to the devil. I did what the devil told me to do. But I came to tell you, brother, whenever 
whatever you saw, God will always give you a way to get back up. I ain't got no help in here. And I need to let you know, brother, and sisters that are in the building, listen, we all are here not because we're perfect, but the reason I come to church is because I'm jacked up. I ain't got nobody. And if it had not been, I ain't got nobody in here. So the blood of Jesus, I get you to touch somebody and just yell out the blood. If it had not been for the blood of Jesus, I wouldn't be here right now. And I'm a testimony that God is able to clean anything up. I wish I had a helping for If there anybody in here that knows that God is able to give your neighbor a high five and say, He's able, He's able. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Don't give me 10 more minutes. Can I get 10 minutes? I'm out of here. Listen. But Abraham, Abraham comes. He, he comes in. And, and over the God tells him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. And the Bible says that when Abraham, he told the servants, he said, look. He said, look, we'll be back. We got to go up to the mountain. We're, we're, we're coming back. But God is calling us up to a place. He said, I got to sacrifice some things. I ain't got no weapon here. He said, he said look, I, I got to go. Come on, give me some minutes. Up here, so he, he said, I gotta go because God has called me to this mountain called Moriah. Now, Moriah means ordained. I ain't got no weapon here. So, God has called you to a place where He has planned for you to go anyway. Y'all yeah. just missed that. I said, God has called you to a place to where He has he have commanded you to go anyway. He knew you was gonna be here. Can I tell you something? Everybody in this building right now, wherever you are in life, God already knew it. It's still in God's plan. Can, can you look at somebody and say it's still in His plan? It's still, it's still in His plan. He knew where you would be right now. But see, what God is doing, He's calling you up higher. He said, Listen, I need you to take that thing that you love, that you feel like you can't get away from it, that thing that may even be a stumbling block in your life. He said, I need you to bring that thing up and sacrifice it. Yes. He said, I need you to bring it up. I need you to put it on the altar and give it before God. I ain't got no weapon here. And the Bible said that Abraham takes his son up, gets him, he fixes the wood, he gets the flint ready, getting ready to light the wood, to burn Isaac. And this Isaac on the wood ties his hands up, and Isaac says, Father, he said, Where is the sacrifice? Yes. And the Bible records that Abraham said, He said, God will provide a sacrifice. Now, what's amazing to me, brother, this sister, is that before Isaac even went up on the mountain, he was already speaking about his return. I ain't got nobody. He said, can he told his servants, he said, listen, hold the ass and me and my son will return. I ain't got no weapon here. He was already speaking that he was coming back. Oh, yes. Come on, can you look at your neighbor and say, you got to speak that you're coming back. Come on. I dare you, matter of fact, to open your mouth and say, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Come on. I dare you to encourage your own self. Say, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Come on, some of y'all ain't said it. I said, open your mouth and say, I'm coming back. So calls him up, calls him up, calls him up, calls him up. And then the Bible said, when Abraham lifts his hand, he lifts his hand, and then God calls him and said, Abraham, Abraham, he said, because you believe in me, I'm not going to allow you to do this thing. And the Bible records that there was a noise in the thicket or in the bush. He looked around and found a ram caught in the bush. I ain't got no help in here. Because you do know the ground and sheep are what they used to use to do sacrifices. Are you with me here? So if you turn around, heard the ram, and I'm going to tell somebody in here, and I'm on my way home, that there are some blessings that God has for you that can't even get away from you. I like that. I need to give myself an offering on that. I said, there are some blessings that God has taught for you right now. Now, listen to me. I said, there is blessings that God has tied up for you right now. And God just 
right now, nigga, get in the right place. So you just get your name as a neighbor. Well, he got it for you. He got it. He got it. He got it. So, so they went up on the mountain, Robert. They went up on the mountain, and God provided uh, the ram there. And then the Bible said Abraham got so excited uh, that they named the place Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. Yes. Uh, can I talk to somebody in the building on our way home uh, that know that the Lord will provide? And look at your neighbors and neighbor. I know the Lord will provide. Come on. I, I need somebody in here who really know who ever had to come up the rough side of the mountain. I need uh, to talk to somebody who's ever had to live from paycheck to paycheck to, to no check. I ain't got no help in here. I need to talk to somebody who knows what it means uh, to live on man-made sandwiches. I ain't got nobody. Who knows what it is to live on sardines. I ain't got nobody. Or Roman noodles. I need to talk to somebody who knows the real son of God should can. Supply all of my needs. If I talk to the Lord, I tell you the good one, neighbor, I'm five. And so you leave off. Who shall supply? So, so they called it Jehovah Jireh. But what I love about it, what I love the Hewitt Bible translation. The message Bible said that he, he named that place uh, the Lord see to it. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my Jesus, I felt that in my shundle. Uh, can I talk to somebody in the building uh, who's standing on this mountain of sacrifice uh, and you wondering if you give up this, will God give it back? Uh, well, can I tell you? It was on that mountain that Abraham named it the Lord see to it. So when I tell you on my way home that we serve a God who will see to every need you have. We don't have to worry if you need one thing, God will give you something better. Do I got some help in here? Whatever we ask you to give up, we're gonna give you something better. In fact, we serve a God who's able to speak life into us. We serve a God. God who gives us see to the scriptures uh, to let us know that we have not left us, uh, nor has he forsaken us. Uh, well, I ain't got no money in my pocket, Reverend. Uh, how did the Lord see to that? Uh, well, he said, I will supply uh, all of your needs uh, according to your riches and glory. Uh, he said, well, Reverend, what about when I got to cry all night long? Uh, he said, I serve a God that's able to see to it. Uh, he said, because I need the man and do it for a night. But joy come up in the morning. Well, Reverend, I'm, I'm, I'm experienced haters. I got people messing with me. You said, well, I'll see to it. You said, we'll make your enemies your footstools. Is there anybody in the Bible? But now we serve a God who is able to bless you. I said, do you know we serve a God who is able to make rain out of my I can't even look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to give them up, give them up, give them up, give them up. Come on, y'all ain't looking at them. I say, look at them and say, neighbor, it's time to give it up. Come on, come on, look at them again and say, it's time to give them up. God has called you into this place of faith. Because we got to give them up right now. I don't know what you've got to give up. But God said, it's all the right. We don't have to give up staying awake all night. Love, because you keep on thinking about it, but in your mind, you can't sleep and you're thinking about it, you may be on your job, and you can't get it out of your mind, but the Lord says, it's time to give it up, when you try to lay back, and say, give it up, give it up, give it up, I don't care what the enemy says, God said, it's time to give it up, we got to give it up, look at your neighbor and say, give it up, give it up. I can't get a touch with people. That's why I'm starting to give it up. Yeah. Because I want you to know that the rest of the world is better. Look at your labor. That's the labor. Better. Why don't I say it like I said it? Put your hand on your neighbor and say, Better. No, you ain't saying it. I want you to speak life into your neighbor. I need you to sacrifice yourself. And you gotta speak it to your neighbor. So get up! 
Well, the son ain't got it. Listen, next time when they touch you and say better, I want you to lose your mind like you're receiving. Touch them and say better. I said, when they say better this time, I want you to yell and lose your mind. Like, no, just hit the power bar. I ain't got no help. Someone touch your name and say better. Yes. Yes. Come on, touch my people and say better, 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 better. Well, I'm about to do it. 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 Look at your name and say, Who you about to do it? Well, I'm saying nothing. Listen, if my neighbor ain't talking to me, I'm about to get up off my roof and find somebody that's going to speak into your spirit. Right there on the roof and say, Neighbor, I'm about to open your mouth. Come on, look at him and say, Neighbor. I gotta open my mouth and bless my soul. Right down the road. Oh, yes. Right down the road. It's a neighbor. I gotta speak it for my life. I want you to look at him and say, Daddy. Yes, right in there when you shout. I'm trying to get you out and celebrate. Because what God has done for you, brother, I want everyone out and out to stand up. Because God is about to do something in your life that's going to blow your prayers mind. God's about to do something in your life that's going to shock your head. I call anybody in the building to put your head to these brothers. Yes, I'm excited for you. Come on, can you see your future better already? Come on, can you look at your neighbor and say it's already looking better? It's already, already looking better. Some of y'all ain't looking at your neighbor. Y'all looking at me. I said, look at your neighbor and say it's already looking better. Oh, well, already. It's already looking better. Yes. 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 Somebody needs to just praise God right there. Come on, brother, give him praise right there. I said, give him praise right there. 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 You are the king of him. Somebody open your mouth and give me glory. I want you to lift your hands and worship. Come on, come on, come on. I need everybody standing who's able. Come on, open your mouth. Just when you worship God, you're speaking well of Him. I love you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Open your mouth and worship. Come on. Come on. I don't hear y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, I, need, I need a real people who's going to do something to lift your hands and worship. You need God to do something in your life. You don't have it to worship Him anyway. 
I see your hands up, but I don't hear nothing. You just say thank you. Just tell him thank you. Come on. Yeah. Just tell him hallelujah. Yeah. That's the highest praise you can give him. Just say hallelujah. Ah. Come on. He's worthy of more of that. Come on. Come on. You can do better than that. He's worthy of Come on. He's worthy of that. Come on, man. He's worthy of that. Come on, come on. I need you all for 10 seconds just to go for work. Open your mouth and just tell him thank you. Come on, just keep saying thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Say, say it loud, man. Don't be ashamed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Thank you. Everybody. Everybody was here. I want you all to look at me. Let me try to stand with what's in with this stuff. It was very good. If you got ready to stand. And then I heard it away and it was in the back. Let me say to you that you need to this place today. God, if they did it over 2,000 years ago, you did all of us to come to this place right now. With all of our issues that we got going on, we knew we were going to be here. Right now. With all of our imperfections, we knew we were going to be here. Right now. If you just got this to me like a smile, he knew we were going to be here right now. What you just got me doing before you came to church? Who knew we were going to be here right in the world? And who told me to let you know that all of your sins, everything that you've done, every wrong doing that you've done, he told me to tell you that he has forgiven you. Are you here? You are forgiven. And he said to let you know that he still can use you right where you are. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I'm sorry. I want everybody to know your eyes. I want you to repeat after me and say, Lord, forgive me for all the wrong I've done. The wrong that people knew about. The wrong that people didn't even know. Say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Now, thank you, God. Say, thank you, God, for forgiving me. Say thank you, God, for forgiving me. Say thank you, God, for forgiving me. Say I am forgiven. Say I am forgiven. Say I am forgiven. Now give him praise if you believe that. Let me see the hands of all the people that I've been with God. If you have not accepted that as your second day, if you have not gotten a saved, if you have not said, Lord, I want you to come to my life. I'm giving you myself back with all the imperfections. If you have not accepted Christ, if you have not accepted Christ, I don't want you to be ashamed of all of us being there. And if you have not accepted Christ, I don't want you to be ashamed of all of us being there. 
want you to be a child. If you have not accepted him, I want you to live your home. Amen. You got it out? You got it back with that thing. Okay. You got it out. Come on, be honest. Come on. Be honest if you have not accepted Christ. Be honest. God already knows. Lift your hands if you have not accepted him. Do you want Jesus to be your Savior? Do you do? want? Yeah, come on down here. Come on, give God a hand of praise, y'all. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on. Come on. church home. You don't have a church. And you like what we're doing here. You like what we're doing here. You don't have a church. You like what we're doing here. Why don't you come down, give me your hand, and give God your heart. We're not a perfect church. We just love God. Though. Come on, look at God moving. Come on, y'all. Come on. Look at, look at God moving. Come on. Come on, boy. God bless you, man. God bless you. Amen. Come on, they're coming. Come on, they're coming. Move now. They're coming. Look at them. They're coming. They're coming. God bless you. Yeah, they're coming. Come on, y'all. Let's give God some praise in this place. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Look at your neighbor. Say, you sure? Look at them. Look around. Say, you sure? You sure? Come on, come now. Come now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them. They're coming. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. We're going to do one thing. This is what we're doing. We're not trying to make you join church. If they will, I need you all to look around the people that's not remembered about church and asking if they're saved. Actually, they have a church on. So I'll walk down with you. Come on, do that, do that, do that. Don't be scared of them. Don't be scared. sacrifice something and it's hard to do. Amen. 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 Listen, I bless you. I bless you right now in the name of Jesus, God. But I ask that you touch every hand that's lifted right now, God. Give them the strength and the power to release whatever it is they need to release. We ask you, God, to, to comfort them. Whatever they give up, God, I ask that you that you supply that need, that you feel that boy, God. 
We believe in you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe that prayer, come on, give it out a hand of praise in here. Y'all may be seated. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Amen. It's giving time. It's giving time. It's giving time. So I've asked all of us today that this Sunday was going to be our special giving Sunday. Um, I've asked all of us today that we would give $25, amen, above the tithes and offering, amen. If you don't have $25, get as close as you can get, get $24.99, amen. I want you to get as close as you can get. This is special, this is special seed day, amen. This is special seed day, amen. So I want you to get as close as you can, amen. Because God, God gave me this, God gave me this mic um, to ask for this seed um, because God is going to just multiply this thing and just blow it up like, like you won't believe. And so I'm believing God. Anybody need some money? Yes, sir. I see y'all in the lottery line. When I when I drive past, hey bro, do that. When I drive past, sometimes I see some of my members in the lottery line. I be like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Amen. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to give? I don't hear nobody. Are y'all excited about giving? Come on, come on. Has God bless anybody with some visions? All right. I want you to give. I want you to give back. Right, right after service, we have some refreshment. No, we got some food. We got food next door. We got dinner. Amen. We have, you all know we have my favorite. We got my favorite. James, y'all know James. James, stand up real quick. Stand up, James. This guy is 93 years old. Look at that. Look at him. He is 93 years young, rather. And, and he is a praiser. He joined our church the other week. Amen. And he is a praiser and a worshiper. Amen. We thank God for him. So they got my favorite back there, Mike. We got my favorite. Um, they got Chipman, John. Chipman's. I told you, you ain't saved unless you eat chitlins. You will not enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you eat some chitlins. Do I got any, do I got any chitlin Christians in here besides? Come on, there, there you go, man. You, you saved. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my, I, I, we got a couple of us in here. Amen. Amen. So we got chitlins. Yeah. We got chitlins. But I, 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 there's something about you, man. I, I just, I just see something. I just see something in you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I see something in you. Yeah, I see something in you. I see something in you. Yeah. Believe God, man. Keep praying. Don't ever stop praying. Yeah, don't ever stop praying. Chitlins. You like chitlins, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I know Cal with me. Um, Dreads, you like you like chitlins? Dreads, Dreads, you, yeah. You don't like no chitlins? Man, mm. something wrong with y'all. What they taste like? They taste like angel food cake. You like angel food cake? Peaches, what peaches, you like peaches? That's what chitlins taste like. Tell them. Check them out, man. Don't, don't let people scare you. They, if, listen, if, if anybody talk, hey man, hey brother, hey, hey, listen, if anybody talk bad about chitlins, get away from them. They are not a part of your destiny, okay? That, if they talk bad about chitlins, that's God letting you know to get away from them, okay? We have an announcement real quick. I want you to get ready. Come on, come on, real quick. We we'll have an announcement real quick. And so uh, we're going to get ready to give. My birthday is coming up, y'all. Uh, and, and my wife, amen, 
Um, and, and we don't have a party. Y'all just got quiet. They look at me. And baby looked at me like rabbit. We gonna have we gonna have a I'm gonna get this old school R and B band the same the same that's what yeah, there you go, yeah. That's what's up. Gonna do some Aretha and the temptation. That's what I like. This is my party. You know what I mean? If, you know, y'all deep fuck me, y'all ain't got to come, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but we're going to have a good time. we got a comedian that's going to come. It's going to be off the chain. I'm telling you. So y'all make sure y'all check this out. Amen. Uh, it's May 16th. Uh, Lake Adda Banquet Hall. Again, May 16th. Lake Adda Banquet Hall. We have tickets. Um, the address is 4801 West 29th Avenue in Gary, Indiana. And it's from 6 to 10. The Pastor A um, is asking each member to purchase a ticket. At least one ticket. If you have somebody that would like to go, we have tickets. Pastor A, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand quickly, quickly. Um, the ones that are raising their hands, they all have tickets. Um, kids, they're thirty-five dollars, and the children that's ten and under are twenty-two dollars. Uh, that's May sixteenth again. That's their birthday celebration. Uh, we're concluding May eighteenth. Um, each member is assessed twenty-five dollars. That's not included the banquet tickets, okay? That's not included thirty-five. So each member is assessed uh, twenty-five dollars, and also there will be an opportunity for uh, to make presentations uh, for Pastor and Lady Howard, okay? So get with your ministry leaders, and everyone if you want to make presentations or anything or a love offering. We want to really appreciate, uh, show our love and appreciation for our pastor, first of all. Amen. Amen. All right. Listen, I'm, I'm not trying to make no money on this. I just want us as a family and friends to come out and have a good time. Amen. Amen. So, so please, I want you all to get some tickets, man. We just, we just gonna have a good, good time. We gonna have a good evening, okay? So, I want everybody to go. Please, I want everybody to go. Let's y'all come on, kick it with Pastor first lady, all right? All right. We gonna do the name day or something, you know. Amen. Okay, we ready to give. Amen. We're in the hands of our ushers. Amen. We're in the hands of our junior ushers. Come on, come on. I want everybody to walk so nobody has to walk over you. Everybody walk around. Come on, let's go. Stand to your feet, turn towards the wall. Amen. Everybody walk. Amen. I want our brother to come before we leave to have words. I want you to come before we leave to have words. Amen. Amen.